In today's video, we are going to quickly look at the brand new DMZ mode that just released for free for everyone on Modern Warfare 2. This video will be purposefully as fast as I possibly could make it, just so you can get a fair understanding of what it is, hop in and test it out for yourself, or at least know things better than you do already. As always, be sure to subscribe, we're on a rotating 40,000 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer every single day, so I do really appreciate that. And also be sure to drop a like on the video as that does really help out, and this will also allow it to spread out to more people and help out others. So DMZ is available to literally all players right now if you download the Modern Warfare 2 Warzone game or just own Modern Warfare 2. The first thing I need to mention which a lot of people are getting confused is this is in no way a battle royale mode. If you are expecting a player versus player experience it's kind of like that but not really. You will be spawning in with players but not a lot of them and it honestly does make such a difference because this is more of just a PvE situation situation where you spawn in and you will be mostly fighting AI. Now this does sound straight off the bat like it's a bad thing but it's actually pretty good. Before you spawn in you will be greeted with a menu that just says deploy, faction missions, squad fill and obviously your top things being lobby weapons and operators. First thing is first let's cover the actual weapons. The way this game behaves is you have a special loadout and that is on soldier which you will be keeping every single time you exfil from the game. The basic idea is you spawn into DMZ, you do whatever you want to do and you exfil. You have a specific time, matches will run from 20 to 30 minutes depending on how long you decide to survive and whatever you exfil successfully with you will keep. Now that also applies to your weapons. As a player inside of DMZ, you will have a small backpack which includes some things like let's say your gas mask, your armor carrier, kill streaks, self revive and if you for example have those when you exfil, you will have them straight away the next time you spawn into a different match. But you might also collect special keys. Now you might wonder what these keys are. They're something that will allow you to then go to special holdouts or locked off doors and use those keys to get in, to get either more keys to different locations or just just collect higher tier loot that then you are able to exfil and just have for future games. Now the way you can find out what these keys do is by hovering over them and they should specifically tell you which location you have to go to. All you have to do then is simply just look on your map and if you look at the named location, go there, you should find a specific door or whatever you have to open up but I'll talk more about that in a while. Now let's quickly talk about weapons. Whatever weapon you decide to spawn in with, that's the weapon you will have in the game and if you don't exfil with it, it's gone forever. But you do also have an insured slot. You have one that's just completely unlocked from the beginning. You have an insured slot 2 that you get for completing 3 or every faction and then you have insured slot 3 which is completed tier 5 on any faction which I will be getting into in a minute. Now the thing with this is this is an insured weapon that will never go away but you will get punished if you die and don't exfil with it by just not being able to use it for quite amount of time. The thing with this is you can equip any weapon, any camo, any attachment on it and spawn it with the specific weapon in the game. But we also have contraband weapons which are ones that you either exfil from the game or you get from completing challenges inside of DMZ. Now you can get special cool blueprints that can be overpowered and it can make it really risky to decide to spawn in with them so it's up to you if you want to really use them. Apart from that you can choose stims, lethals or field upgrades and these will just like disappear if you come back without them but you can just re-equip them and have them forever. Now let's quickly talk about factions. These are essentially your missions. You can select up to three and the thing is the more that you progress the more that you will be unlocking. The cool thing with this is they will be rewarding you with XP and also some other really cool things. Now these things could differ from contraband weapons which I just talked about. Just those special weapons that you unlock that are only usable inside of DMZ nowhere else but you can also get special loading screens, calling cards, emblems and even keys for specific things inside of the map which again as I said just look on your map whatever the key card is called and go to there and you can get some really good things. Now this is where you complete special factions and when you make progress in them you'll be unlocking different sections. For now we have Legion, White Lotus and Black Mouse. It does say by completing the tier 2 story mission for Legion and White Lotus factions you will unlock Black Mouse for example and they're not really difficult challenges you just have to specifically select them and just work through them. For example one of the Legion challenges that I have requires me to collect $60,000 in cash cash and then spend that $60,000 in a shop which you can find around the map. Now that we've covered the weapons and the actual factions, let's say you decide to spawn in. You can spawn up to 3 players or 
duos or solo but you will be still going up against three or two other players so do bear that in mind but again you'll be mostly stumbling into ai around the map which will be your biggest competition when you spawn in you spawn in with your weapon and from here you have the option to do whatever as i said there's other objectives there's strongholds there's a radioactive zone right now inside of the game that can give you a weapon and obviously in the future i feel like we'll have other weapon challenges around the map itself you have special uav challenges and just overall ai killing that you can do to collect xp collect your stuff and expo now that's a huge thing with dmz it is absolutely amazing for xp so just sticking around those few minutes and then after a while deciding to expo it's a really good thing to do now this is a very casual mode from what i've experienced i've seen a lot of people saying that it's really sweaty and they just see people camping and sticking around areas i think that's just really bad experience because i've played quite a few matches so i could make this video inside of dmz and i've had a really good and fun time do bear in mind again you will be running into those sweats and the ai can actually be very overpowered at times so also do be careful now as a whole team or if you're playing solo if you end up going down and there's no one to revive you unfortunately there's no way of coming back the ai can just fully finish you or you can just give up which will again as i said make you lose all of your stuff but if you decide to exfil you just have to simply look for the like blue little icon on the map go over there call in the chopper which won't take long to come in get on the chopper you'll get a five second counter from there they'll stop moving up and you've basically exfil successfully and you get to keep your stuff and make progress in getting xp weapon contrabands calling cards and emblems, loading screens, so on and so forth. If you're looking for a specific guide for these actual challenges, just simply reading the actual description will give you a fair understanding of what to do. There's quite a lot of these and if there's any specific one that you have trouble with and if it's like a universal thing, I might cover it in a future video. I am going to be covering as much DMZ as I can, but that's the basic idea of DMZ. Instead of going into insane detail on every single objective and everything, I think it's better that I explained it this way just so you understand that loadouts are very important and keeping all of your stuff by exfilling is vital on top of that the understanding of how missions work is important and just hopping in and having fun is a huge thing so i hope this guide helped you out in some kind of way if it did be sure to drop a like on the video again be sure to subscribe and as always i will see you guys in the next one peace out